All right. Good day, everyone. I, Ari P. Canyete, for this day, will be discussing one of the art movements, and to be exact, it is about realism. At the end of the discussion, each are expected to know the definition of realism as an art movement. Second, history and the important social-political issues portrayed. Third, the characteristics of realism on the era movements. And lastly, prevalent artists and their sample artworks. But first, let us know what is realism. Realism as a style of work focuses on the accuracy of details that depicts and somehow mirrors reality. No, no, somehow, man. It is because we cannot copy totally the original, yet the goal of realism is to as much as possible do all sa original. Next question. What are the important social-political issues portrayed? So, artists believe that they should portray political, social, and moral problems rather than glorifying the past or portraying romanticized versions of the present because sa past, ang artist, to wala pa exist ato nga time, much more sa present. The artist depicted familiar scenes as they appeared in real life, hence the term is realism. So now, let us proceed to the brief history of the past. Realism was heavily influenced by Hellenistic Greek culture since most artworks during that period placed emphasis on the human body. So here is an example. Marble statue group of the three graces. So Moonisha stone sculpture. So these young girls linked in a dance-like pose represent the three graces. Aglaya, which means beauty. Euphrosyne, which means mirth. And Talia which is abundance. So next, history of realism as a modern movement in art. On 1850, realism movement began in France. On 1920, realism saw an upsurge when the shock of the First World War brought a reaction known as the return to order to the avant-garde experimentation of the pre-war period. Let us now dig deeper to the characteristics of realism. So, based on direct observation of the modern world, of what our eyes can see. Next, objective and down-to-earth because realism portray real and typical contemporary people and situations with truth and accuracy. Next, the opposite of abstract because abstract art does not attempt to represent external reality but to achieve effects using shapes, colors, forms, and gestural Marks next does not convey beauty but a common place in all its plainness. Kung unsa jud siya, mao jud siya. Next, reject romanticism. Why? Because ang romanticism arts are exaggerated. An example to that is this: The Nightmare by Henry Fuseli. Nagdamgo ang babay na naday kuan kanang mananap no nga nagpatong sa iya ha, which is murag impossible ka ayon. Impossible jud siya. Alright, next, the prevalent artist and their sample artwork. So, Gustav Corbett. So, mauni ang iyang artwork, Young Women from the Village on 1852. The reality of this painting is in stark contrast to romanticism. The three women are dressed in their country clothes and the landscape is rough and a little ugly. Even the cows are scraggly looking. The rich lady is handling some money to the poor girl while the others look on. So next, kay si Jafaz Lamia. Mauna siya ang pagbasa sa ihang pangan. So painting siya, oil on canvas. And mauna iyahang dimensions. The title of this is The Gleaners. It shows three peasant women gleaning in a field for some scraps of wet. So, ang next is si Winslow Homer. So, iyahang art is the fox hand. In this painting, Winslow Homer shows a hungry fox hunting in the snow for food. At the same time, there are ravens which are so driven to hunger, they are hunting the facts. So, there is nothing heroic or romantic about this painting, just the reality of what happens in the winter to hungry animals. So, mauni siya ang additional nga mga famous realism era artists, si Jean-Baptiste Camille Corot and si Thomas 
Ekans. So next, interesting fact about realism. The invention of photography in 1840 likely helped to spur on the realism movement. All right. Next, here are my sources. So as you can see, I've searched my report and that will be all. Once again, I am Ori P. Cañete. This has been a great opportunity of sharing my knowledge about this topic. I hope you learned a lot and have a great day. Thank you.